Hello everybody, Looney Farm Guy here with the new mod test for when uh, Tuesday, June the 21st. And this is the Komatsu Forwarder Pack for all platforms from HR Thrust und Thrustenbrau, 65.07 megabytes to download. They are 20 and 22 slots each. Now it is a pack of three forwarders. As you can see, in the in the typical forwarder style. Now, where are we going to find these? These will be under forestry machines, and here they are, all three, three ladies, pretty ladies, all in a row. We got the 855, 875, and 875 Flex Bunk, 206, 216, 236. Now, we'll go through, uh, actually, the Flex Bunk. They're, they all have exactly the same configuration, so we're just going to go through one of them. We have Nokian, Trelleberg, and the Olafars. Uh, Nokian, we have standard, wide, and wide. There we go. Uh, Trelleberg, we have a couple of different options, like so. And in Olafars, we got the uh, the standard choices through there as we're always used to we'll go with this one just because of color now we got the hood protection which we see on pretty much every one of these cabin decal uh that actually i don't know what that is Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. The tiniest little decal on the door. Oh, my. Uh, rear wind, rear warning marker. Yes or no. Engine setup. We have the, uh, the 251 horsepower or the 360 horsepower uh, stage one. Main color. Here's where it gets kind of interesting. We have all these wonderful colors. Orange. Uh yellow oh that's kind of a metallic yellow that actually looks pretty nice and then uh chain uh, brands and chain color which is those things there and then you have your rim color which you can make um there's a bunch of metallic type colors there as well and that's pretty much uh it uh for yeah the decal that's weird yes or no huh um, and this one, this one uh, actually changes the color when you go to main color. Uh, no, I don't want to purchase. I want to change the color. It uh, changes the back uh, sp spiky thingies. <laughs> and of course, the uh, the horsepower ratings are just a little bit. 231 for that, and uh, 251 to 360 for the 875. Pretty much, that's all I could tell for the differences. Right, so, as you can see, we have, th they're, they're nearly, as they say, nearly identical, uh, except for this one, and we'll jump in that one, start it up, interior looks uh, like so, uh, some nice working gauges in the top right corner there with uh, speed and RPM. And it matches uh, it matches your RPM on the bottom is very nicely actually. Yeah, look at that. Um, and we have the rear view, which is looking right at the Komatsu uh, chair. We have the that view, this view, which follows, I would suspect, yes, follows the crane end, and this is our normal. What you would say our normal view uh, in cab again uh, yes the uh, the reverse view follows the uh, crane and this view follows the crane as well as well as this view there so but we'll stick with this one now l1 unfold the flexi bunk it does that Kind of neat. Okay. 
Uh, the next kind of neat thing is L1 and open cover. It puts up a screen. Now, if we go inside, it doesn't really change much, does it? But if we go outside, it's uh, it's like uh, we're, we're getting put in a little fishbowl bubble or something like that. Kind of interesting. We'll leave that up just because it looks kind of really freaky. Now, <clears throat> sticking with our L1 button and right stick, we move. We can move that in and out, and left and right with our right uh, if, with our right joystick. Now, if we go to R1 right stick, it's up and down. With your right stick, nothing uh, left and right um, is kind of not 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 doing any it's it's there we can just move our and fasten the belts the belts are you could kind of see there it is and l1 and r1 uh you can spin with your right stick spin your grapple and you can open and close the R1 up and down, although it doesn't show it, oddly enough. And your left stick, um... Left stick, left and right. I have not found... Oh, yes. L1 and R1, your left stick, left joystick, up, at left and right. Put those little ends, to retract or, um... Put them up or retract them. Yeah, kind of neat. And then we have Sun Shield Control Group Sun Shield 2, which I, I'm not exactly sure what this control group actually does. Yeah, a little bit of it. This this right stick there, that that one. I don't know what that does. Yeah. In something inside? Oh! It puts the sun shield down. L1 and right stick up and down under sun shield 2. Oh, look at that. And you don't see that from outside because I've got the... Uh, we got those up. Let's see if we can see that from here. Oh yeah, look at that. Sun shield going up and down. Wow, that was very important, wasn't it? Well, <clears throat> so a few notable things about this is it doesn't have the color configuration for the uh, the claw and uh, the uh, the arm and a few other things that we've come to uh, kind of well, not expect. I just. So, I, actually, as a matter of fact, this is a pleasant diversion, I would say. Uh, less options means a simpler... It's like, oh, I pick a few colors and where you go, right? You do not have to struggle with going through, trying to go through... Oh, we have a hitch. Well, you know what we have to do when we see a hitch... Can't miss, uh, can't um, can't neglect a hitch. Now uh, there we go, very nice pin hitch. That's a yes. Check the yes off under pin hitch. Sorry about the camera; it's being a little bit ornery. My camera skills are a little bit, uh, and oh, I'm going to lift that out of the way. There we go. Uh, no ball hitch. So pin hitch trailers, which most uh, wood uh, type trailers are. And there you go. That is your Komatsu Forwarder Pack for all platforms by HR Frost and the Frozen Brow. 65.07 megabytes download. Uh, 22. And 22 slots on console. I'm Little Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. Till next time, bye for now.